Hi everyone, this is Downs from the Divine. I am doing the Twin Flame Daily Reading and this is for today, August 24th of 2018. I hope everyone is doing well and happy Friday to everyone. Um, I apologize yesterday, I did not mention that it's the start of Virgo. So for those, uh, for those Virgos, um, is it Virgoans or Virgos? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> But for those who are you moving into your time and in um, your season, um, um, happy birthday to to you all for all your upcoming uh, birthdays, and um, I hope you all are doing well. I'm always sending love and light to you all, and a huge thank you um, to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you for all of your support, for liking the videos, for sharing the videos, for your beautiful comments. Thank you, and um, yeah, it's. It's awesome. Just very appreciative. So um, if you are new to the channel, this is a Twin Flame uh, focused channel. And so the readings are for the energies of both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And I always say this before every reading, just to, just to be clear that, you know, we're part of the Twin Flame Collective, but these readings aren't going to resonate with everyone. And everyone is um, at different points in the journey. And then there's folks you your situations, you have unique, you know, things happening with your situations as well. So these readings are going to resonate with everyone. I pray that they resonate with as many people as possible, but they're, they're not going to resonate with everyone. I am, um, doing some daily tarot spreads over on Instagram. I try to do that on a daily basis. Um, it's a little, um, my time is, I, this is light work. I do light work, but this isn't my, I, I also have a, um, a job as well and so I try to get those daily tarot spreads up on um, Instagram so those messages over there may be some messages over there that resonate with you and I'm also I did start this actually this past Saturday I started doing personal readings so um, information about that's below if you want to schedule a personal reading to get more insight about what's specifically going on um, with your situation okay all right, y'all. Um, I will be uh posting a um. I will be posting a weekend reading, and so I'll be doing that. And um, yeah. I wish you all a wonderful weekend and a happy Friday. All right, let's get this going, y'all. Um, I am um using the Secrets of Tarot deck by Amanda Hall. And then I'll be doing some clarification with the Gypsy Oracle deck, also known as the Sabilis. So I will say I did, um, as I was shuffling, because I before doing readings, I pray and meditate over the cards. And I saw the Tower and I saw the Two of Swords. So I kept seeing that there, there may be some folks going through having some Tower moments. Um, some epiphanies. It could be epiphanies or it could be actually something happening like an actual event and that's the divine moving moving things along and it could be due to just feeling that having that mental conflict with that two of swords and that's what's happening for some of y'all okay all right y'all i pull one card and then i always pull the card from the bottom and the top of the deck and then i look again that's part of that overall energy i, I look at those cards and then i look again at the bottom and the top of the deck um part of that overall energy angel spirit this is for the twin flame collective and this is for august 24th of here it is oh it's beautiful that's the star okay top of the deck four of pentacles bottom of the deck eight of wands all right okay So I'm looking at the download I'm getting is I'm adding up the cards and the cards add up to a 29, which two plus nine is 11. That is balance. 
that's also union. I'm getting two downloads with this, um, just on his face, and then we'll look at the bottom and the top of the deck again. But I'm getting two, there might be some folks with different situations. So I'm getting one download I'm getting is, is that overall there's this need and this want for healing. Um, and for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. There's this need, this is a... Um, and we'll t I'll talk more about the star card, but that's that balancing, that's healing, that's also wish fulfillment, that's the divine, um, that's a 17, which is also, um, uh, 1 plus 7 is an 8, that's another 8, because we've got the 8 of wands here on the table as well. And that's that really a, a healing, balancing type of energy, um, that's a beautiful energy. I'm getting two downloads on this on on the table on the space. Is that we've got either someone that is holding back from actually doing some type of communication, and they're holding back. So you may be, and y'all are at different points, but there may be some folks where they actually are holding, like holding back. Um, and whatever they're holding back or holding on to is preventing this positive movement forward with this eight of wands that could move forward into this healing. Um, the other download that I'm getting is, is that there's also this want. And um, I, I, I feel this would be like divine masculine trying to hang on or hold on to the divine feminine. Um, and doing this by there's some type of communication um and communicating so that they can they can they want to hold on and they want to be able to come together with the divine feminine into the star energy into healing and that's the two things i'm getting we'll we'll get some more clarification but that's that's what i'm getting right now the bottom of the deck is the two of wands So we've got wands here. We've got the pentacles. We've got this, and I'll talk more about that for a pentacles card. But we've got wands. And the wands is all about that movement. And um, this is someone, you can see that this male figure is standing here looking out and holding a globe in one hand and then holding on to one of those wands. This is a number two. This is a uh, decision point. This is someone wanting to move forward. They've made a decision that they're going to, but they haven't. Because the other thing that you notice with this wand, uh, this wand is like into this, like it seems like it's, all, it's almost into this cement right here, this encasement right here. It's planted there. So this is someone that's making a decision, but is not yet moving forward. They want they want the world, they want to travel, they want to move forward, but they've they've made a decision, but they're not yet yet moving forward. What I feel though is what what would change this energy of just like this wand, um, just being planted and not I mean not able to move this wand out of this like like this like cement type of wall right here, this stone wall that's right here, is that what changes this energy is that we do have the eight of wands on the table. So this is movement. This is someone making the decision for positive movement for with that, with the two of, with the two of wands, with the eight of wands. And two plus eight is also a 10 and one plus zero is a one and that's moving into a new beginning. Okay. Manifesting. On the other side of the deck is the five of, uh, five of wands. So We'll get we'll get more clarification. That's why I'm picking up on this one that there could be some folks where there's there's like divine masculine that 
are dealing with some internal conflict or having some conflict about moving forward and kind of holding back. There's divine feminine could be feeling also knowing, for instance, like divine masculine comes back or has communicated. We've got the eight of wands here and they've made, they've, they've moved forward and done some type of communication to the divine feminine. Then there's this, there, there may be some divine feminine experiencing some internal conflict as well, just about moving forward. The five of wands, though, is also it's also moving forward past um, what this five of wands is. So five of wands could be internal conflict, which I already talked about what that could be with this energy for both the divine masculine and divine feminine in terms of just how they how they would feel about having some conflict about moving forward. Um, this is also that kind of that petty type of uh, conflict. Uh, competition you I mean you see these folks in this car like holding these wands and looking ridiculous just doing whatever with these wands um, number five is conflict as well number five is also a movement and um, it's this is um, this is that pe pe that petty it's not serious conflict so this is something that could be that could be easily moved beyond. You can easily move forward and just move forward straight into the six of wands, into victory and overcome this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll put these out on the table because we'll clarify with the Sabilas too. But that's the, it could be just some divine feminine, just really at decision points and figuring out you know, moving forward and there's some divine masculine coming back. Energy is fluid as well. And, and y'all are, um, we're in your twins as well. So you do, you do do quite a bit of mirroring too. Um, cause you're your twins. Make sure that y'all can see those. Cause I'll clarify those. So this four, this four of Pentacles, um, four is uh, grounded, like stability foundation. Number four is is about that. And this is the Pentacles, and this is actually the only Pentacles card. We've just got wands here, which is good. We've got a lot of wands on the table because that means that there's some movement. Because I feel like there's been folks that are very frustrated in, in this period of life. They feel like they're in this period of like stagnation. And things aren't moving. Um, but um, for some of y'all, with all of this wands energy here, this is movement. And it's movement towards the only uh, like set energy here on this table that's not mutable or changeable is this star energy. And, I mean, that's beautiful energy that if there's movement into, into that healing and balancing out. And this is a wish card. This is one of those wish cards as well. Um but this four of pentacles is it could be someone holding back and could be holding back because they're feeling a little internally conflicted just even maybe a download i'm getting is just that it may have between the divine feminine divine masculine there was like some petty stuff that happened like very childish i'm hearing childish stuff that happened and there was some embarrassment around that. Just the just how ridiculous it, you know, it, it was. And so there could be um there could be divine masculine. They have you have to forgive yourself for things like that, but then it's it's not serious conflict. It's something that can be overcome. So there could be a little bit of holding back. Uh, because of that, because of communicating, because there was some petty stuff that happened that was really childish. And that's a holding back from communicating. The thing is, is that for there to be this healing, there has to be that positive, that movement forward with that eight of wands. There has to be that 
that communication to move forward into this healing between the divine masculine and divine feminine. The other uh, download I'm getting with this four of pentacles is because it can also mean like holding on to someone. And um, I, that's the download I'm also getting is that there could be divine um, masculine like trying to hold on to the divine feminine and feeling like to do that, you know, and these are like twins that are in like separation, but to do that, then there has to be, they, they, they have to communicate with this eight of wands. And I'll talk about the eight of wands. Um, the eight of wands is that communication card. Um, this is eight positive, move, this is positive movement four with the eight. It's the communication card. Some people call this the arrows of love as well. It's also um, movement. It's movement forward. And um, I feel like that's what we've got some folks that are just really, the sense I'm getting is just, just wanting stuff just to move. Like there's been this period, and it could be for both the divine masculine and divine feminine that are feeling this. Like just there needs to be some type of movement. And, you know, feeling like this, like you want the world, you, you're holding on to that one wand um, in this card with the two of wands. But that wand is, 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 is like stuck into this, this, uh, this wall right here, this stone wall. And so it's like you're wanting to move. You may be having some internal conflict as well. There may be some external stuff happening, but the sense I get is more that this was like, internal conflict and it could have just been some like petty stuff that happened between the divine feminine and divine masculine and um but there's this want uh to move forward to have that movement and i mean what's beautiful with this is just these three cards on the table added up to an 11 and that's that's that union um And we keep getting eights, because even if I, yeah, I keep I keep hearing eights to seeing the eights, because this is this is also adds up to another eight, and this is um, the star card, and I talked about the star, um, number seventeen, one plus seven is eight, and you can see that this female figure here, just at peace and. You know, just calmly pouring pouring water into this body of water, but then also pouring water into the earth. And it's like just balancing yourself out and healing. And you've got all the star and it's like, you know, it's the divine as well. And this is also, you know, one of those one of those wish cards. So it's like coming into full balance and healing. But to do that, there has to be some uh There's this want, there have, there's this movement, this positive movement forward to do that. Okay. Let me clarify what's this a big list. Let's do some clarification. Sabila's are Gypsy Oracle cards and they're a little slightly slippery. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's start with let's start with this two of wands. How about that? Two of wands, angels and spirit. Thank you for all your guidance and your clarity. Two of wands. So the clarifying is two of wands is the haughtiness card. And then I'm seeing reunion and size with that. So it, the haughtiness card is an interesting card because um, and it's been, it, it's popped up in readings and in, in like the negative um, 
a negative sense in terms of someone just being very arrogant and self self assured and very like self assured in a very negative way, like very controlling and negative um and over like over uh, over sense of pride those type of energies like that that negative ego type of energy and um but the sense i'm getting with this haughtiness card you can see this peacock here it's like this per i feel like this could be someone that's just like really assured and very confident that they've made like a, the right decision with this two of wands. So there could be divine masculine feeling that way about the divine feminine. Very, very confident and self-assured and like, oh, cause they make, they're making the right choice. That's what I'm hearing. They can have the world. almost like a kind of a, a cocky kind of attitude about it, but it's about the connection with the divine feminine. It's making them, making some folks feel that way. Let me clarify this five of wands. Well, clarifying the five of wands is this reunion. And you see the male and the female figure here, but it's like the male figure is trying to like explain himself and the female figure is going like, okay, you know, come that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's where there could be some with this reunion. There's this want for this reunion, but I feel like I'm getting a sense from this. There may have just been some really kind of petty stuff that happened in the past and wanting to have this reunion, but there's, That's part of what this five of wands is, and it could be playing into this this type of a feeling of like some internal conflict as well. But this is want for a reunion. Let me clarify this eight of wands. Actually, let me clarify this four of pentacles first. Four of pentacles, angels, and spirit. love okay so this is someone that's really trying to hold on to love to their love with the four of pentacles that's holding on that's one in that reunion and that's being pretty with this haughtiness card and the two of wands that's like being pretty sure that some some are pretty some folks are pretty sure that they are going to have this they're going to have this reunion they can overcome this five of wands this type of conflict or whatever that happened in the past and have this reunion that's the download i'm getting let me clarify this eight of wands well so clarifying this eight of wands is falseness. This is part of with that star and that healing that there has to be when it, this is going towards the, and I'm looking, I'm seeing enemy and malady healing, healing from this deceptive type of energy that was in the past, whatever that happened in the past that was with deception and all kinds of stuff that happened in the karmic cycle it's talking about that the falseness is communicating about that but through that communication about this and honestly discussing feelings and discussing what happened with each other with between the divine masculine and divine feminine then that leads right into that that's all part of that star energy and that healing like malady just came wanted to come like like come out but malady you can see that this person and this is like with that star and I said star and this card came. Um, but this is this person that's in, you know, they're they're recovering from some type. They're trying to recover from an, an illness um, and they're in bed trying to heal. And so that is definitely um, 
just that communication about what happened. But this this is a person that's holding on because it's like they they they're holding on to love. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the star? The star. So clarifying the star is the thought. Thought is um is like actually thinking and then I mean you can see that this male figure is sitting there, it's got his, you know, it's really like deep in thought. Um, the other meaning of this is that you like planning. So not just thinking about something, but also doing some planning. And I'm seeing So the cards on each side of the deck with this thought with the thought card with the star because this is someone that's wanting to plan. So there's could be this could be divine masculine that are wanting this healing, the wanting to they're hanging on, they the divine feminine and wanting to hold on and planning to communicate the sense of communication about what happened, wanting this reunion. On the at the bottom of the deck we've got enemy. The enemy card is the download I'm getting from this with this meaning with the meaning of this card in this sense um, is that this is like that seven of swords type of energy where there was just a lot of deception and things. It's that falseness and everything that I mean you can see the even the colors on the card are similar. Um Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like there's a want to like reverse this energy, which would mean communicate again, like we got the eight of wands with the falseness. It's moving forward past that energy, but then at the same time, it's, it's to do that. It's communicating about it, about what it's, it's honestly talking about what happened. And on the other side of the deck, we've got the Lord of the Grand Signore, which is like this emperor type of energy that's in this, that's in the Sevilla deck. This is taking control, but this is doing, taking control in the higher vibration of that. The star with this energy, this energy in and of itself with the Grand Signore and the enemy, there, this could be representative of who folks were dealing with in the past cycle. That's not a nice energy. That's someone that's using the lower vibration of this emperor energy and, and being very controlling, manipulative, you know, with this enemy card. Not, not a very good energy. I feel what's happening, though, is we've got divine masculine that they're wanting to heal. They're wanting to balance this situation out. They're wanting to heal with the divine feminine and so it's wanting to like take uh, step into that higher vibration of that emperor energy to reverse this and it's the same with this falseness to reverse those energies and that means communicating and talk honestly talking about it and to move forward i feel like somebody though is very self-assured that they can have a, they can have a reunion with the divine feminine they can overcome whatever this petty conflict and whatever that happened this five of wands they can overcome it but at the same time i feel like there's divine feminine that are still in this place of um there's still some internal conflict and in moving forward but there's this want and this of this balancing this is beautiful energy the star is here to balance this energy out and to heal. Okay. See if I'm hearing anything else. We'll see if I'm hearing. See if I'm hearing. That doesn't make sense, but I guess I guess it does in a way, but I'm and I'm not hearing anything else. I'm not seeing anything else. Okay, y'all. All right. Okay, well, this is where the energy is for some of y'all. 
with the divine between the divine masculine and divine feminine. I'll be posting the weekend reading and I wish you all a wonderful Friday and have a wonderful weekend. And you all uh, take care. Bye.